Okay, here's the next part, the Battle of Chongban. How did he get so many of the people to follow him? This was all accomplished through Liu Bei's popularity. No matter. There is no need to rush this battle. I'll drive them into a place of my choosing. Alright, as always the intro. After a fierce battle, Wan Shao succeeds in routing Cao Cao's forces. Now with the Central Plains under his rule, and control of the Han Emperor, Wan Shao embarks on an arduous task of unification, his lifelong dream. Marching southward with his vast army, Wan Shao begins his invasion of the Jing province. Fan Castle, which directly blocks the path of Wan Shao's march, is being guarded by Liu Bei, who had settled in this region after a period of wandering. With no defense against a large-scale attack, Liu Bei flees to the south, Liu Bei's forces marched sluggishly, as there are thousands of peasants within the ranks as well. Wan Shao's army will ultimately catch up with Liu Bei at Changban. Alright, the equipment, the weapons the same, the items we're going to keep the same. The bodyguard equipment we're also going to keep the same. I mean, everything's going to be the same. We're not going to go any lower than 8, and the highest is obviously 8, so we're going to keep it at 8. The conditions. If Liu Bei is defeated, we win. If I die, or if Liu Bei escapes, then we lose. It's game over. Plain and simple. The unit info. Well, this is the first time that we're playing this under Yuan Shao's forces. So, this is the first to see what's here, basically. But uh, if you look at Liu Bei's forces, for the fact that we have done Liu Bu's uh, booster mode, you will know that this is the same exact general list and the same exact layout for the enemy so basically yeah if you're thinking okay will the same exact stuff happen here then what happened in uh lubu's musa mode the answer is yes everything we done in lubu's musa mode will also happen here so there's two escape routes and all that uh there's also guan yu's forces appearing later on but uh We'll talk about that once we start the battle, so let's do it. Listen, you must not let Liu Bei escape. For the future of the Wan family. Liu Bei must die today. Alright, so there's two routes you could take. Um, and whatever route you take will determine which uh, path Liu Bei will retreat from. Either by land or sea. If, if Liu Bei retreats by sea, it will be the original escape point that we all know. If it's by land, it's going to be in the bottom right corner. I mean, I, I said it's already, so... Um, yeah, it's basically that one gate in the bottom right corner, if you see right there. Anyway, let's continue. Don't lag behind. So, uh, yeah, if you approach Zhao Yun and defeat Zhao Yun, they will retreat by land. If you approach Zhang Fei and defeat him, they will retreat by sea. We're going to go and defeat Zhang Fei. Since we've done the one by land uh, and defeated Xiao Yun, so we're going to go and defeat Zhang Fei. Try to mix it up a little bit. Part of me is slightly going to regret it, though. I don't know why I'm thinking that. Well, here he comes. Fight. 
Alright, so we're gonna go and defeat Zhang Fei. Oh, we're defeating Zhang Fei, I should say. All right, so that's one down. Now you've seen that you cannot compare to the Wan family. Still, don't think that you can escape. Troops, attack! I have defeated an officer. And to make things a little bit easier, we're going to go around. I mean, we're going to go around, and it's going to be a bit of a longer path, but at least we won't have to worry about that many enemies. Because if you go in that little circle there, and there's Guan Yu's unit. What? More of you? Come, I will fight you all. Yes, yeah, so if you go in that little circle area where those four sub well, generals are, where Mi Fong... Chen Zhen, Mi Zhu, and Jian Yang are. Uh, there will be a little ambush unit there, so we're going to go around that. I mean, when it comes to little, as in a lot of troops, but maybe one or two sub officers. So, yeah. I'm not that worried when it comes to that. But it's just. I do not want to get knocked off my horse millions of times because somebody's attacking me. Even the Golden Harness wouldn't help here. And what I mean by Golden Harness is if you equip that, then any archers that try to attack you, it will not knock you off your horse. So, Plus, we could also get to dim some here while we're at it. Anyway. Yeah, we do not want the peasants to retreat under any circumstances. Because if they do, well, Liu Bei will start to retreat himself. And that's something we don't want. Watch my spear and learn. Yeah, we're just going to bypass Zhao Yun and then continue on. Get out of my way. So yeah, that's the ambush unit that I was talking about. Alright, there's me Fong. Are these peasant units? Yes, they are. Let's defeat them all. Alright, why are they running away for? You know what? I'm not Karen. We must fight well. We'll just continue on. Alright, there's more peasant units right here. I have 
closer. Alright, so we'll just keep on killing everyone in our way and uh, until we see that point where they, uh, oh, there's one ping. Yeah, until all the peasants, oh, yeah, yeah, all the peasants are destroyed. Alright, so we're almost done here. Let's see. The unit info. We got John Young, Mishu, and uh, Chen Zhen left. Wow, really? Alright, let's continue onwards. Because we can't just stay here. Alright, there's more. Alright, so there's more peasants that we destroyed. And then there's more. And for anyone that hasn't played the Dynasty Warriors series, the difference between the peasants in this game, usually all the ones in yellow. So once... Yeah. Once we defeat enough peasants, Zhang He will retreat. And uh, that's what happened. So it's similar to when we did Lubu's Musa mode and Zhang Liao retreats. Alright, so. We'll continue on. Defeat Mishu. Alright, so who's left? We have Zhao Yun, Jun Yang, and Guan Yu. Alright. General wise, obviously. Alright, let's get out of my way so I can continue onwards. Or not, because I thought there were... Oh, there they are. I could have sworn I saw more peasants. Alright, this seems really depressing to be in one spot for god knows how long. Alright, so let's get out of here. Oh, now let's get out of here.
So now let's go defeat Zhao Yun next, since he's over here. Yeah, the easiest path is, well, the easiest way to do this level is going to Zhao Yun first. But obviously, I decided to go to Zhang Fei first because, well, I went one path. Might as well show out the other one and show the difference there on how I would do it. Alright, so now Ma Liang. Oh, all three of them are here. Great. It makes my life a lot easier. I have defeated an officer. There's one. We must fight well. It's two. Whoa, that came out of nowhere. Alright, and that's the third. Alright, as much as I want to keep on getting KOs, I need to stop. Because I'm trying not to make it a 40 minute video. But at the end of the day, I'm going to have to kill some of them to get onto my horse and run away and move on to the next general so I have to find a way to kill us enough that way there we go I was like that way I won't get knocked off so now we're gonna go the closest uh, pa well the fastest route in my opinion to get to Guan Yu because we're not gonna go all the way around we're just gonna cut through the enemy because we still have to defeat Zhuge Liang, Liao Hua, and Ma Su. So, and to find the Musu one as well, which will be on the left side of the little ambush unit there. Let's avoid those crossbows. Alright, so if you go... Whoa! So if you go this way, you'll see two clay pots. There we go. Right behind Masu is the Musu one. Like so. Alright, so that's another one down. Let's try to avoid those archers. We must be triumphant. Alright, before we even continue, I just want to make sure, yeah. Just want to make sure if Guan Yu had a, uh, any sub-generals. 
and he doesn't. So we can just go straight for him. And then Guan Yu, then Liao Hua, then Zhuge Liang, then Liu Bei. We're almost done here. Alright, he's almost dead. Whoa. I can't believe I every time I say something like that, I I almost jinx it. I underestimated you. We must fight well. Alright. Next is Liahua. And you go this way, and Liahua will be over here. Without getting hit by archers. And I realize my Musa gauge isn't filled, and without getting hit by archers. You know what? I'm just gonna have to cut my way through again because. Well, to my horse, because, well, I'm getting hit by archers. And there's too many troops here for me to get away. Alright, we're good to go. Now Zhuge Liang. Alright, so let's try to break his... That's one way to do it. I was going to say shield. He starts attacking me and I use a true Musu attack. Now Liu Bei. Alright, before we even start attacking Liu Bei, let's take care of the rat problem. Alright, so I think I took care of all the archers. I hope I did. Well, no, I didn't. How many of these clowns are there?
Alright, that should take care of all the archers and crossbows. Now let's go attack Liu Bei. Jeez. This is not happening. He's not going to obliterate, obliterate the living shit out of me. Yeah. I'm freaking out right now. Wow. Do I have to take care of every single troop? Really? You know, we're just going to have to do that. Well, that's one way to, to do it. Without getting dazed. There we go. Almost done here. Let's just do this and we'll be A-OK. -okay. And that's a win. All right, so it took a little longer than it should have, but you know, we we'll just have to do what we have to do, I guess. It took 20 minutes and change. So plain and simple, when it comes to either approaching Zhao Yun, defeating Zhao Yun, or Zhang Fei, and making which either or the escape route, fastest route, go straight for Zhao Yun and make the Mushi by land. Make things a lot easier for yourself. Anyway. See what we got here. Nothing special. All right. Items. Nothing special. All right. Bodyguard weapons. Iron bow. Steel bow. All right. That's one bow down, and we have one more to go. And would <laughs> does it really matter? They're both defense plus one. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all that. Uh, KO count is really high because we got a lot of KOs. Uh, 543. We almost tripled our points per KO. Uh, 16 worthy opponents. I could see us getting a good 8,000, 9,000 points. Let's see what happens. Eight thousand, five hundred, maybe. I don't think we're gonna get nine thousand. Okay, we got nine thousand. All right. And uh, since our points are at max when it comes to the bodyguards, they're not gonna go any higher than ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. So, yeah. Alright, we got down to a class 5, and I think that's the highest we're going to go for this part. Yep. Anyway, we'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 3. In some cases, it's Extreme Legends, but for me it's 3. And I'll see you for the next part. Peace.